Many of you have reached out to me and asked me how I'm controlling the keynote from my iPad and also doing the recording to put together a video presentation very similar to what you have seen on my channel. Let's take a peek behind the scene and find out how I set this all up. This is Artist Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. To do these type of recording, I use two programs on a Mac. One is QuickTime Player to do screen recording and the other one is Keynote to show my slides. I'll also use Keynote on my iPad as a remote control device as well and I can also annotate the presentation that is showing on my Mac or anything in a large auditorium as well. Something to remember is that in a smaller space, single Wi-Fi network like my studio setup, this works really well. In a larger institution or a convention center, it may not work too well depending on the Wi-Fi setup they have. Let's jump into the computer and start out with QuickTime Player, which is a program that ships with Mac for multiple different versions now, and you would simply go into File, New, Screen Recording. From there, you'll be presented with this menu bar on the bottom, and sometimes when you initially launch QuickTime Player, it will ask you to select a portion of screen you want to record. What I want to do is record the whole thing, so I'll choose the whole thing, and in options, I will enable the microphone. I highly recommend that you do this so that it's easier for you to sync the clip in post-production. Otherwise, it will record the screen, but there is no sound whatsoever, and it makes it fairly difficult to sync the clip up afterwards. Once you're done with that, simply click on record, and it will start the recording process. You can look on the, on the very top there, and that is the stop symbol. So when you're done recording, you can simply click on stop. Now, the reason why I'm using another program to do this recording and not just QuickTime is because I want to show you guys the QuickTime interface that I'm using right now. So the other program that's running on top and doing all the other recordings in addition to QuickTime right now is OBS Studio, which works fairly well. If you want to use another program like OBS Studio, you can certainly do that. Personally, I find QuickTime Player, a very simple, easy to use program that have worked very reliable for me. All right, from that point, what you would simply do is go into Keynote. I already have a presentation launch. I'll go into Keynote menu, preferences. And there's so many settings here. I'll go into remote, enable remote, and I'll start my Keynote on the iPad or on your iPhone, whatever device you have. On the top right, you will see that there's a phone symbol with a play icon on there. So you would tap on that. And right now is still trying to search for my MacBook Pro. This is not a MacBook Pro, so I'll click on or tap on devices and tap on add devices to which it's going to search right now. And you can see that the keynote on my Mac have seen this iPad device, which I named Ayla. So I named some of my devices, which is kind of neat. Anyway, confirm that the numbers are the same. It's showing up the same on my iPad and also on the computer. I'll confirm that. And from this point, you can simply close out the keynote preferences and you're ready to start the presentation. Tap play and you're ready to go. You can see the presentation on my iPad right now. I can hold the iPad up with one hand if I want to, but now I'm just going to write on here because it makes it a little bit easier. And with the Apple Pencil or your finger, you can simply choose the different layout options if you want. For example, you can do currents and notes. You can do what's coming up next. See the current one. There are different options that you can choose from. I like the current and next because it gives me a really good heads up as far as what's going to happen. The other thing is that if you have a pencil like I do, you can simply tap on the doodle sign and you can definitely use, for example, your stylus, which is built into your body, your finger as well to do different things. You can undo that or you can also use the Apple Pencil to doodle and say like, yes, get this one for instance. You can definitely do that in the presentation and all of this are now being recorded on your Mac using QuickTime Player. It's really awesome. When you're done with that, you can simply tap done and it will go out. You can close this out and it will close the presentation. So when you're finished with this whole thing, you just have to come into your Mac and stop the screen recording. To which QuickTime will then give you a screen recording very similar to what you see now. It will automatically save this to the location that you selected. Mine is on the desktop. So I'll simply close that out and I am pretty much ready to go. I'll put this together into my video timeline along with my video clip and also sound recording so I can put together a presentation. Anyway, I hope that this guide on how to use Keynote and do all these screen recording very similar to what I'm doing for my workflow helps you guys out there. If you have any questions or comment, leave them below. Give this a like, subscribe, and hit the bell you new. And remember, in art we trust.
And if you stay at the end, I will show you. I am going to stop now OBS screen recording. So we'll simply click on stop recording and we'll exit this out, the program. So with OBS, it always is going to put the clip inside the movie folder. So you can see right now that I have an MP4 clip there. And usually this is actually much smaller clip than what QuickTime Player is going to record. But, you know, I've been using QuickTime Player for so long now doing all these things. I'm more comfortable with that program anyway. So anyway, you can choose any program that you like to do screen recording. Hope this helps.